My name is Ben Oriana. Uh, I'm um, an independent consultant. I live in New York and work out of Richmond. So I um, actually do UI and UX work specifically for data analytics. Uh, but um, my whole career has been around design, around technology, and uh, it's been my passion, and I try to share that passion when I'm here as well. Gangplank um, was first, in, I was first introduced to it at an Agile open space in, I think it was 2010 or 2011. Uh, I went out to Chandler, Arizona to attend an Agile open space, and that's where I met Mike and uh, Lisa Atkins, who's uh, an Agile coach, was out there training as well. So um, it was a whole new concept to me, and I thought it was just one of those incubator spaces where you go in and you, you, you pay. The you know the vibe was very startup, very uh, Silicon early Silicon Valley, but this was you know in you know 2010. Uh, strong energy, lots of Kanban boards and scrum boards up, and you know you, you couldn't really tell what the assets were, but you could tell people were very busy. Uh, and I thought that's you know what a great concept. And I always thought it was just specific to Chandler, to, to the Chandler, Arizona area. Um, that's how I first learned about it. Uh, when I started traveling to Richmond from New York, uh, I would work out of the hotel or go to a coffee shop. Um, and then I connected with Lisa again and Mike. And Lisa said, Mike, you know, started up Gangplank here in Richmond. Why don't you check it out? So we started coming here and it was, you know, very quiet space. But yeah, it was just me and maybe a couple other people. The energy was a lot different and better than, you know, sitting at a coffee shop where there's strangers. And now, you know, six to eight months later. I think it started here in March um, and eight months later it's really blown up to you know this strong energy and uh, lots of initiatives going on and so uh, I try it's great to pass to around see everybody that I, I meet. Everybody has an idea so even if you haven't officially started your business or uh, you know registered it or done actual commerce um, if you want to even uh, think about what it, what it takes to start a business, you know, from just the inception. You know, I have to have an MBA. You can just have the drive and passion, come and listen, and get involved. And, you know, you start absorbing these things. People have great tips. So uh, someone who just has just the inkling to just say, I want to go out on my own and try it or do a side job, uh, Gangplank is a great place to go. Um, someone who's been running their business for a while, just wants to change a pace or start networking, it's another great opportunity. So. Um, you know, I've seen from very early, you know, uh, not even startups, right? Just getting ready a startup to startup, uh, we'll, we'll find benefit here. Completely unconventional to the traditional, you know, uh, cohabitating spaces, right? Or the, uh, the incubator spaces. Um, as Mike puts it, money's off the table. And it's interesting what things, the things that can happen when people don't think about that barrier, because usually that, that, that stops everybody. It's like, okay, I need to raise money first before I can do anything. If you just show up, um, you start gaining benefits from it already. Um, after a while, you get, for me, this is my personal experience, is that I have, a, I, I feel this moral obligation to give back what I'm receiving. Even if it's, I see Gangplank in general, the philosophy, Instead of it being some kind of a, uh, a commercial plan to expand and grow, it's, it's an organic kind of movement, right? People will join in. Um, some will just listen and, and lurk, right? Others will come in and, and, and be the voice of, of a, a certain topic. Uh, but because there's this uh, uh, collaboration, it's not forced. You know, people will join as, as they feel and leave as they, they need to. That, uh, you know, Gangplank... Um, I don't think it's going to stop. I think if anything, it's going to uh, spread even further. Okay. Uh, learn more about Gangplank RVA. You can go to the website, gangplankrva.org. Uh, there you'll see all of our links to Twitter, Facebook, um, Meetup, uh, LinkedIn uh, links. You can uh, click on there, uh, participate in the discussions, or just come by and show up. You know, we're on the second floor. It's a very uh, uh, non discreet uh, location, but uh, if you come in, you'll feel the energy right away. Um, uh, look for the, the skull, the RVA skull. That's, you know, these stickers are going to start uh, showing up everywhere. So um, that's, that's if you want to know more, just look for the Dan. They, they call him Dan, Dangerous. 
So the da the dangerous skull, and that's one of the you know that's one of our uh, pitch lines is uh, be dangerous, you know, go out there and do instead of say you know more talk. So how's the coffee game plan? We have coffee now. So someone uh, brought in a Keurig for us, and everybody can get their dose of caffeine. It's fantastic. Okay.